We're experimenting with rice hulls and clay to make lightweight building blocks. We're using 25% rice hulls on our first test block. Okay, this is our first test block with the rice hull clay mixture. This is not the most efficient way to mix it, of course, but we're just doing small samples. Normally, you'd use a pit or a big tarp to mix it with your feet. My first experiment with rice oil clay about a year or two ago, I used too much moisture and too many rice holes. Basically it was almost all rice holes with a clay slurry and it molded. I opened up the bag a month later or so and it was all molded. So I'm using less moisture, just enough to hold it together and fewer rice holes. We're working during the, the dry season to reduce the risk of mold. And in case you're wondering, humans have been working with fiber and clay, fiber and earth since the beginning of history. It's just much of this knowledge has been lost, so we're trying to relearn it. Here's our first rice oil clay uh, earth bag. Unfortunately, it's too wet. I think we have to make another one tomorrow. And I think that's just the way it goes. You just have to keep testing until you find something that works. We just put too much moisture. Okay, I made a second earth bag with this rice oil clay mixture. And you can see it's a lot less drier. So this looks pretty good to me. So uh, here are the finished earth bags and the block made with the rice oil clay mix. This is to make lightweight walls that also add some insulation. <laughs> 